In May 1919, the Secret Service set up a base at Teriyaki in neutral Finland, just three miles from the Russian border. From there, the CMBs repeatedly sped into St. Petersburg, successfully dropping off and collecting agents. The officer in charge was 29-year-old Lieutenant Augustus Agar. Well, he was a very resolute man. He was a professional. He joined the Navy at the age of 15, and he served um, all over the world. He was a professional at sea during the whole of the war, and obviously quite daredevil and charismatic. In early June 1919, the nearby Russian fortress of Krasnaya Gorka rebelled against the Bolsheviks. Red Army warships arrived and used their formidable guns to bombard the rebels into submission. Agar vowed to intervene. And he thought and was told by his informants that if that could be stopped and the fort remained in white Russian hands, other forts or towns would follow suit. The most lethal ship was the Russian heavy gun cruiser, Oleg, armed with 12-inch guns and 12 11-pounders. Oleg was protected by minefields and a shield of destroyers. Agar believed that his two CMBs could sink it. He wrote, Surely they could provide, like a couple of hornets, the very sting to drive away those red bombarding ships and help the fortress hold out. But the plan soon went wrong. CMB-7 broke her propeller shaft. Agar and the crew of CMB-4 would have to go it alone. With just one shot at the Oleg. On the night of June 17th, they set sail for the Bolshevik fleet. The weather was apparently for 3 or 4, quite nasty enough for a small boat doing 30 knots. He had to go over minefields, which were dangerous because they were always breaking loose. It was a very hazardous trip because if you'd broken down or anything happened to him, there was nobody to rescue him. They would have been picked up and shot. Agar and his crew moved in for the kill. He wrote, Throwing all caution to the winds, I put on all speed and headed straight for the Oleg, which was now clearly visible. At a range of 500 yards, Agar launched the torpedo. Hold below the waterline, the Oleg sank in minutes. Under fire from the Russians, Agar sped back to base. The Bolsheviks refused to believe that one of their finest vessels could be sunk by such a small boat. By all accounts, they wouldn't accept the fact it was done by a CNB. They put out that it was attacked by a submarine. The British top brass immediately recognized that the crew of CMB-4 had achieved something special. According to his diary, they were given a hot tot of rum and they all went to sleep. An agent arrived and they were all hauled out of their bunks and told to appear somewhere. And that photograph was taken a few hours after the attack. I think he still had his pajama trousers on. 